I became extremely suicidal. Mm -hmm. And I had a complete emotional collapse. Jada Pinkett Smith revealing she had what she calls an emotional breakdown at 20 on her Facebook Watch series, Red Table Talk. I did not know, and it broke know. my heart. It broke my heart when I heard her talking about it. Jada and her mom, Adrian, opened up about that time to ET just weeks ago. Jada says she battled severe depression for years. I found out before the Red Table came on, but really just that whole period, I had no idea. Because I really had no to idea. figure out a lot of things for myself, and I didn't want to burden anyone. It was about me. Looking back, Jada admits she thought success would solve all of her problems, and it took a while to break that mentality. They put yeah. me on Prozac for, it was like five milligrams, but once it disrupted my sex drive, I said, look, that's the yeah. only thing I got in my life. I was oh, like, Lord. that's the one thing <laughs> at that particular point of time. And I would, that was the thing that got me off of Prozac. Jada says Prozac was the only thing that could get her up in the morning. It would take her hours to get out of bed. And now she says she's off meds and doesn't get depressed. Really, that's what this table's about. You know, it's us finding our truth sometimes, discovering right. our truth, and having the courage to live that truth. I'm on the pursuit of happiness, and I know everything is shining, always gonna be good. This week's guest, Kid Cudi, opened up about his own battle with depression, sharing how he self-medicated with cocaine. He's two years clean now, and his revelation led to this confession from Jada. In my depression, using ecstasy, drinking a whole lot, you know, and smoking a bunch of weed, and trying to just find some peace in my right. mind. I was doing ecstasy, weed, and a bottle of Cavassier. <laughs> <laughs> <bottle of> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I knew I was on my on a course to addiction. At the end of the episode, Jada reiterated the purpose of the show to share personal testimonies so other people know they are not alone. It takes practice to have those difficult conversations um, with kindness and consideration. And it's just something that we have to continue to practice because if we don't talk about it, we're not going to get to the other side. We're just going to, you know, things are just going to stay in the cracks and fester. So the more that we can bring these difficult subjects to light and talk about it, the more we can purify these subjects and bring them into something new. And so um, that's why it's important for me.